What's going on guys and welcome back to some more Mario Golf of the Game Boy Color in the last part. Um, we basically did the remaining, uh, we did uh, the Lynx Club practice already and look at all of our progress so far. We only have like one remaining thing, side game we have to do and it's in the post game. So yeah, this is the final course in the normal game. This is the Lynx Club. Want to play golf? We're going to play a club tournament. So uh... Yeah, the Lynx Club, um, I'd say, is a step up in difficulty compared to the Dunes course, but um, I'd say it's probably uh, among the hardest of the four nor courses in the normal game for one particular reason. You see this tall patch of grass here? That is considered the Heath. If you get, if you hit the ball in the Heath, it is absolutely miserable to get out of that. So uh, I think I'm gonna aim it like around here. We thankfully have a lot of distance because we have the uh, distance club, so uh, oh, don't hit that in the bunker. I think that circle is also considered fast fairways, so uh, yeah. Yeah, so let's just say there's long holes and there's a lot of like heath that can uh, fall, make you fall into easy traps and all that. I think that should go on the green. I overshot it a little bit, but it's not too bad of a putt. It's a straight putt at least. So just sink that in. I think you have to get a good score in order to place first in this also. Um, let's look at the uh, thing. We got King Zora from Ocarina of Time. We got Saria from Ocarina of Time. We got Princess Rudo from Ocarina of Time. We got Link. We got Raru from Ocarina of Time. We got Deku from Ocarina of Time. We got Naburu from Ocarina of Time. We got Sherry. We got Genius, who was actually the champion of the Lynx. We got Kobe. We got Koopa. We got uh, Azalea. We got Bill from Star Fox 64. We got Talon from Ocarina of Time. We got Banuru from Ocarina of Time. We got Zelda. We got Goron Kid from Ocarina of Time. We got Joe. We got Navi from Ocarina of Time. We got Pierre from Ocarina of Time. We got Impa from Ocarina of Time. We got Darunia from Ocarina of Time. We got Sheik from Ocarina of Time. We got Skull Kid from Ocarina of Time. We got Mido from Ocarina of Time. And we got Ingo from Ocarina of Time. Oh, gee, what a roster. I'm not going to use a Power Shock, actually. I don't want to hit that in the Heath. Thank God I got a nice shot. But I, I don't want that going in the Heath. Which something tells me it is. Get out of the Heath, get out of the Heath. Ugh, I knew I should not have done that. Now I have to kind of play it safe. I have to kind of like aim around here because thankfully our impact and control, however, isn't like as bad as I thought it was gonna be, but you still drastically lower the distance. So um, yeah, it looks like it's a three shotter. So um, I'm just not gonna put as much uh, power into that. Ooh, that could have chipped, but uh, it was too. I didn't aim to the right enough, but uh. Oh yeah, birdie. And uh, we just uh, need a few more, and uh, Genius is already catching up, but um. We also do have to play him in match play, so uh, that'll be the final of the match games, but uh. I'm gonna use, uh, I'm gonna use a two iron, I hit it all the way. That's not the position I would have wanted, though, but, uh... We got a little bit of, a. Uh... Come on, go in. Yes! Uh, so, yeah, we're actually doing pretty well for uh, probably the toughest course in the game, but, uh... It's the toughest course in the normal game, because there's one more course after this in the post game, but, uh... I will be covering the post game, let's just say, so, uh... Yeah, so I'll, I'll make sure to get that out of the way. So uh, we're going to... Um... Go on the green. It's going to go on the green. Maybe if it didn't go to the right, I would have got that in. But it's... Uh, it's I can't do hypotheticals, really, with golf. But um, we have, we've birdied every hole so far. So, like, we're doing fantastic so far. Uh, um, I'm just not going to hit it all the way. love the music here also it really for some reason it fits the final course in a normal playthrough so uh let's 
Let's, okay, I'm gonna use a four wood. Don't go in the bunker, of course, it went in the bunker. <laughs> Almost chip, but unfortunately that's the first time we have to accept a par. But uh, we're doing actually really good so far. We are genius is in six under par, so he's gonna start fucking up the back nine. But um, I was making sure I got that perfect shot. But um, yeah, I knew it was going downhill. Don't go in the heat. Don't go in the heat. Don't go in the heat. That's not the worst of pots, it's just going downhill, so, uh... Oh, yeah. Alright, so we're in third place, so, uh, yeah, we're gonna do this. I know we're gonna do this, but, uh... That's the first time I missed a power To be fair, my screen kind of glitched, and that's why I fucked up the timing. Uh, yeah, we have to use a three wood. That's still not a position I'd like, though, so I guess we have to accept par. Or maybe, no, it didn't chip. So, yeah, we have to accept par. As long as we don't get any bogeys, we should be fine. So, uh... Oh, it's a par five. I don't want to hit it in the heat, though, so we're just going to play it safe. We could use the driver, but I do not want to risk hitting it in the heat. You do not. You want to avoid hitting it in the heat at all costs. Now let's try something more risky. Try to see if we can get an eagle. Oh my god, that that played out great. And ship that, sink that in, and oh my god, an eagle. I cannot believe that works. So we're in the lead. We're tied with Team Genius for first place. Link is unfortunately in fourth place, and King Zora is in fifth place, but uh. Unfortunately, though, this is the last Mario Golf game, to my knowledge, that has those kind of references. Like, when I do Toadstool Tour, those, they're not going to have those kinds of references to other games. So I guess it's kind of a send-off to that. Plus, I think the next tournament's all Mario characters, so... I, uh, yeah, I overshot that, um... And I ain't that too much to the right, so I'm gonna have to accept par. As long as I, I got that eagle, though, um, yes, yeah, so we're tied with Genius for the first, for our first place. And we're at the back nine, so Genius should start fucking up eventually, but, um, I'm gonna use a three wood, but not hit it all the way. Maybe even a little to the left. Like, uh, yeah, around here. Come on, come on! Oh, I I hit that a little too hard. That could have been a hole in one. Oh yeah! And we're in the lead. We just gotta keep getting. We just gotta keep winning and winning. I'm gonna use a power shot. Alright, so what we're gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna use a uh, seven iron. I don't like the accuracy fuck up though. So thank god he's the seven iron. Oh go in, go in, no. Thank unfortunately no. Oh yeah, as long as we keep getting birdies, we should be fine. Alright, I'm not I wanna avoid hate in the heat, so. I don't like that accuracy fuck up though. 
Yeah, that's going in the semi-rough. As long as it doesn't go in the heath, don't go in the bunker either. No! Okay, semi-rough. Unfortunately, though, we can't get this on the green in two, so... We use a power shot. Don't go in the heath! Thank God. It's on the green edge, though. As long as we can, uh... Aim it like this. Oh, yeah! We are 10 under par, but Genius is 7 under par, so... My advice for the Lynx Club is you want to birdie as many holes as possible. I'm not going to get that on the green in one, so... If you have enough distance on this hole, you can't get that on the green in one. I'm going to use a... Uh... I mean, he has a 9 iron and not hit all the way. That way I'm more... Yeah, I overshot that. No, oh, no, 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 no! Okay. I should have just gone with the pitching wedge. Yeah, so that's a par, unfortunately. As long as we stay this score, we should be able to win this. Uh, I'm not. I'm not risking hitting the Heath. All right. So I'm gonna use a two iron. That way, I'm more confident it goes on the green. go on the green. But I guess I fucked up the accuracy, though. Maybe without the accuracy fuck up, that could have been a chip. But as long as I keep parring, I should win this. Because, yeah, Genius is at minus seven. Seven and a par, so... We just have the... We just have to keep getting pars and birdies. Avoid the bogeys at all costs. I do not like that accuracy fuck up. I should've just gone with the higher club. Well, I didn't get in the bunker, thankfully. Come on, go in, go in. Yes! Oh, yeah. The par five, so we'll have an easy birdie right here. As long as we aren't hitting the heath. Oh, don't go out of bounds. Don't go out of bounds. Okay, good. Don't go in the heat. No! Oh, shit. How am I going to do this shot? Okay. How am I going to do this shot? All right. As long as it doesn't go in the water... Yeah, I played that shot a little more safe, so as long as we just go for an easy birdie. I'm not gonna use uh I'm not I don't think I'm gonna hit that all the way, so uh It's not a position I'd like though, but as long as we can we have two we have two attempts to make this. Too much to the right, so that's a par. So yeah, we should we should be in a good position to win this. I didn't have to use the save trick a single time. But we're actually having an easier time here than we did on the Dunes course. All right, don't go in the heat. Don't go in the heat. I shouldn't smoke too soon. Put some backspin into that. Oh yeah, that's an easy birdie.
12 under par, well, last hole. is the last hole of the main game, so I'm not, I'm not, again, I'm not going in the heat, so. Fucked up Diagrasy, but as long as it guarantees I don't go in the, no, 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 I shouldn't have spoke too soon. Okay, it's not going in the heat. Yeah, we're gonna have to use a power shot with this one. Yeah, so it's supposed to hit the tree. I don't think this is enough to hit the green. It is actually, but it's a, it's a tough putt though. So uh, we have to aim this a little to the right and it still wasn't enough, but that's an easy par. And that is the Lynx tournament. We won minus 12 under par to eight under par. So yeah, we birdied a lot of holes in bogey a single hole, so. What we're gonna do now is uh, try to see how many level ups we can get, because we get 435 XP, so that is two level ups. So uh, we're gonna go distance, then uh, impact and control. We have 161 in the next level up. A new champion has appeared at the Lynx Club today. It's Kid from the Marion Club. I now present this trophy to Kid. Congratulations, Kid. And there's a new animation of a kid holding up the trophy. And that was Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. Very great mini playthrough. Now, we're not exactly done with this playthrough yet because we still have one more match game left to do, one more side game left to do, and one more tournament left to do because believe it or not, even though this is a rarity from 1999, there is a post game. Really, it's a first of its kind. Like, it wasn't really common in 1999 to have post games, but um, yeah, we still have to face Genius. We still have one more side game. We still have the tournament. We still have some more characters to face in normal play. So we're not exactly done with this playthrough yet. So uh, yeah, I really do enjoy this game. I'm glad I get to do a second Mario Golf game and I can't wait to do Toadstool Tour at some point as well. But uh is a very underrated game let's just say sad when i go on youtube i find almost no playthroughs of it but like um yeah it's like a very interesting take on the mario golf series and also at the very end of this playthrough i also plan to showcase the transfer pack stuff so it's gonna be a that's why i made this playthrough an attachment to my mario golf 64 playthrough But anyway, as these credits roll now, um... As these credits roll, basically, like, um... Yeah, so I basically explain the gist of what's gonna happen next. I'm gonna say it's gonna be, um... Maybe five or six more videos after this. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a shorter playthrough, let's just say. So much like the last playthrough, I am going to tackle the post game. It just takes us back to the main menu. So, um, what we're gonna do now is uh, next time on. Uh, now, by the way, if you beat these characters in match play, you can also play them in normal play. But um, now, um, next time I'm gonna go for the Game Boy Color. Well, now I might as well show you this. Hey, kid, going outside. Head yeah, for the links up. Something good will come of it. Genius was up that way when his uh, invitation came. I guess the in the the gist of the post game is that uh. A letter is falling from the sky. 
congratulations, Grand Champion Kid. As the top player, I invite you, Peach. So we get actually get an invitation to Peach's Castle. It, it's in the rainbow. So we're going to tackle that later. So um, next time on Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color, however, we're going to face the final match play against Genius. See you guys then.